Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, I am lucky enough, okay? So as I was making my way home from that legendary... No, my God, my phone flipped upside down. That legendary smugglers camp where we did some good work. I did some good work. I actually got another wrench out of the next chest I opened. So out of that one smugglers camp, we got an engine part and two wrenches right off the bat. Boom. That's great. All right, over here. This dude, well, guess what? I got a baseball bat. Call me Aaron Judge, except he's been eliminated from the playoffs. <laughs> only reason I know Aaron Judge, listen, I'm a Cubs fan through and through, right? But only reason I know Aaron Judge is that that dude had the hottest start to a baseball season in the world. And that's why, look at me. Boom. That's a home run. Boom. Another one. Oh, I'm rhyming. I got the rest. But I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic fantastic day. Me, I'm playing zombie baseball, dude. How could I not be having an amazing day? It's like five times better than normal baseball. I mean, I think you guys could agree with that. You guys got, you guys got, you guys got brains or anything like that? I love me. Come on. Don't tell me that you guys don't spawn with no brains. Really? They only got normal rope. These are scrub zombies. But I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic fantastic day. Me, I'm doing pretty good. You know why? You know why? The dev blog came out just the other day. We're gonna be talking about that here in a second. But first off, before we focus on that, and a lot of cool things that was added, I actually made a little uh, quick list of some of the best things, including uh, confirming trading, more events coming, potentially a Christmas one, and free rewards for us beta testers and beta players. Because if you guys don't know, the game is in beta, so we're gonna be getting some free stuff in game in exchange for that, if you ask me. That's pretty freaking cool. But anyways, in each container, you'll find one common object. So this is a change that happened to the shipwreck. Uh, now it's only dropping one per. Some people are saying it's a glitch. No, they just changed it because they saw how ridiculously good three was. So they've kind of brought it down to one, which sucks. But maybe we'll get lucky and get a Dragonov. Maybe that, maybe Dragonov is a type of steak, but whatever. We got some five juicy steaks. I like that. I'm not dropping a buck on this anymore. All right, I want to drop a buck on it a couple times. Show you guys how the crate works and whatnot. Because at the end of the day, I want you guys knowing the most about last day on earth when you're watching me. Not just having an amazing day that only gets more amazing, right? That is one of my large goals. I cannot deny that. But I do want you guys to be as knowledgeable about last day on earth as possible. That's why I'm always dropping the newest of news. That's why I'm always showing off the newest of things. Lickety split whenever they come out and uh, if you might be new to the channel you should totally stick around for that stuff and that weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gifts card giveaway so as we're making our way back home I want to let you guys know about that so if you guys don't know all you got to do is leave a comment down below hit that like button make sure you are subscribed to be entered the weekly $25 iTunes Play Store gift card giveaway on this video you can enter on every last down earth video when Saturday rolls around I'll pick a random video from last Saturday to this upcoming Friday and announce the winner then you get your choice of iTunes or Android Okay, I thought I just said that backwards, and I thought I just said Play Store or Android. That would have made no sense. And, uh, yeah, and I do like to give you guys some, like, direction for the comments. And today, I got some questions I want to ask regarding the update. So before we get too far into stuff, Healer, I'm just doing, like, mm, listen, I think we got to get the ceremonial P on the Healer. Because it, it's, it's ceremony at this point, so hold on. I got plenty of booze saved up just for you, buddy. Just for you. Don't worry there. And you can see here, I got my setup in terms of things I wanted to bring. I wanted to grind out, maybe get a couple of tombstones. And then I was thinking head to the bunker. Even if this isn't enough weapons, I got a ton of weapons over in the uh, bunker area, actually. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good. Let's just make sure that we cop the radio code for today. If you guys don't know, this is the code for... Uh, it might change because I'm recording this late night on Wednesday, so it might be different, but hey, give it a go if you're trying to find that out. If not, I'm sure you can find it somewhere, though. Uh, maybe someone will be super helpful in the comments, and that could count as your comment. Photo that giveaway, but uh, as is ceremony, we must pee on you, and while we are doing our our deed, our duty as uh, uh, the, the owner of this plot of land and shooing away the healer, you know, look at that. He waves gingerly like, hey, you got some healthy pee there. Stay real hydrated. Like, thanks, healer. I like to stay hydrated. Thanks for noticing, bruh. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Let's talk about this update. So, if you guys don't know, every Wednesday, the devs answer 10 questions that they find across all sorts of social media. I almost said social media. What the hell is social media? We got the new smugglers camp, which we might actually make a little bit of a pit stop by. Uh, why don't we go there first? Because I got a couple of torches here left over. Uh, yeah, I do have a couple of torches. I got a ton of torches from opening those Halloween boxes, man. 
Wait, where the torch is at? And I, I did want to knock out... Dude, where, okay, there it is. I think I skipped over it. I want to knock out the first two levels of the Smuggler's Camp because as I've been doing this more and more, I have realized the first two levels are pretty reasonable and the third one just gets ridiculously hard. But enough talking about that. Let's talk about some of these things. So the number one question, the uh, first question that was asked is, can you at least give us hints on how multiplayer raiders will work and we can know what to prepare ourselves for? If and when multiplayer is added, will you allow us to build mini guns to defend our base while we aren't online? We don't want people to just waltz in and take our loot. And then the answer is, answer the second question, sure, there will be such a chance. So that is referring to the mini guns actually protecting your base, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Uh, all right, and they will lift the veil a little bit on multiplayer. So they said there are going to be some main zones for single player, which will be common and understandable to everyone. So I guess I'll kind of hop back into the map here to kind of show you guys what they're talking about. Because there's already a couple of great examples in the game of a couple of these things that they are going to be mentioning in this first question. So they said, uh, and they've also, this is using information from before, but they're saying that some main zones for the single player, which will be common and understandable for everyone. So I think when they say that, they say a lot of these zones that we're seeing here. You know, everything that we've seen so far in game is probably going to stay single player to my understanding uh but then they said as well as undiscovered dark zone for the multiplayer cooperative and other challenges for the most hardcore survivals so i know that this is going to be a thing and check this out i'm pretty sure they actually updated someone tweeted this at me and let me know so shouts out to you i'm sorry i don't remember your name but i appreciate it uh apparently they updated the pump jack photo so that's a really small detail but sometimes it's those small details that point you in the right direction. And this might be the direction we like. This might be the direction letting us know, hey, Pump Jack might be coming soon. Honestly, well, my best guess would be is that the Pump Jack is one of the things they're talking about, though, because it is in this undiscovered area. In terms of the dark zone, I think they just mean undiscovered portions of the map. Like, I, I don't know what else the dark zone could mean. Maybe you guys have a clue, but it makes sense because th this zone, for example, used to be quote unquote dark. And then we unveiled it. We gave it light. When we went to the watchtower and shined a light. And these watchtowers are kind of like beacons of light. You can see those giant green pillars they have. Stuff like that. Uh, so continuing the answer as well as Undiscovered Dark Zone for the multiplayer. Cooperative on the challenge for the most hardcore survivals. They've said in the past, this is using information from before, they will be able to do bunker runs. I don't know if that means alpha bunker but maybe like bravo bunker or charlie bunker will actually be cooperative bunkers and uh this is going to be some sort of you need to join a clan to do this so this is definitely going to be multiplayer so they do have a couple of great examples of that and regarding the minigun that's really good news that we'll be able to get some kind of automated defenses so not just not just traps on the ground like no 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 we are getting some real defenses that shoot the bullets including miniguns. Now, they have already, there's technically already a minigun blueprint in the game. You can actually, well, it's not a minigun. It's called a turret. Automatically and cruelly stops all nearby enemies. So this might be what's going to be incorporated in the future since it's already a crafting recipe. And uh, it seems like it'd be, but kind of when, when they say minigun, I kind of think more like the thing we find in the bunker, that type of stuff. But let me know what you guys think in regards to this first question. This is one that I definitely want to get your guys' opinion on because I think that there's a lot of good creativity and a lot of awesome theories that could potentially come out with. Like I'm saying though, I think they're talking about the pump jack there and all that jazz. What do you guys think is some potentially like some of those cooperative and other challenges? challenges for hardcore survivalists and i know for uh in, in regards to multiplayer they've said you'll be able to have multiple bases where you'll have your single player base so kind of like the base we have now but also in the future uh tom you want something you're gonna have to protect me here buddy uh i will give you a katana does that sound good bro you might you're gonna be naked no pantalons for you but that's okay man I think you got this. But yeah, I know that they've said that you're going to be able to build a co-op base. And I'm pretty sure your single player base is going to be safe from raids. This is older information though. All of this is subject to change because it's obviously not final. But I think they've said that where the single... Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. I try to be as accurate as possible with this type of stuff. But if I'm wrong, please let me know. All right. I don't want to mislead you guys. I'm just saying right now what I think I've heard. Uh, I think we covered it in a last q and in, in one of the previous dev Q&As. But they've said that the multiplayer base is actually going to be uh, raidable. Whereas your single player base is going to continue being your thing. And it won't be as raidable or something along those lines. I know for sure though that they've said the multiplayer base is going to be bigger. That's for sure. I, I know for a fact that they said the multiplayer base, a co-op base you can build with your clanmates will definitely be bigger. And another tip for you guys, if you're doing this quest, always, whenever they go to the other side of that wall, you gotta push them from this side 
Otherwise, if you try to push him from this side, he'll actually start like he'll run back to the other side of the wall. And as you guys can see, the first layer of this event is stupidly easy. Like, I think there's a couple of fast biters maybe we got to worry about, but oh, oh, hello. Okay, I'm just gonna use my torch to take you guys. I don't even care. I'm setting you on fire. I got my katana bro over here. We're ready to go. Uh, let's just complete that thing. Yeah, sure thing. And uh, let's just keep on letting these guys on fire. Because I don't need this torch when I'm done with this. Thank you for the support there, Tommy boy. Speaking of this, this is actually perfect. I'm going to skip forward a little bit in terms of some of the things we've been talking, especially as we kind of wait for these zombies to fall in them. Let me know what you guys think in terms of like future multiplayer slash cooperative events that you think might happen in game. But uh, what is it? If we scroll down a little bit, this is the fifth question that got asked, but I think it relates the most to what we're doing right now because we're doing an event with our boys, Tommy and Johnny. Is that is that their two names? I'm pretty sure it is. I, hopefully this first chest has some clothes I could give my man Tommy here. Uh, but yeah, Tommy and Johnny. He doesn't have any work for me right now, so we, need to, we gotta walk out of the map and reset it anyways. So let's put our baseball bat back on but uh will we see tom and johnny again in later events i've grown attached to them in the smuggers event and uh, kafir's response is just awesome to know that you like tom and johnny we'll surely think about the way to give you a chance to meet them again which kind of means that they're hinting towards the future hey we might do some more of these kind of cool timed events potentially even in addition to another thing they said which is the question right after number six is there going to be a christmas event as well because i would love to see a christmas event in the last day on earth there are plenty of time till Christmas, so first we would like to ask you back, do you like the Halloween events so far? I have no clue what that noise just was. Uh, what in tarnation, but turns out my phone wasn't on silent like it should have been, but they are saying that there's gonna be a Christmas, so there's, if the Halloween response is good, and honestly, I've loved it, so if you guys have loved it as well, make sure you let Kafir know so they do a Christmas event, because a Christmas event would be awesome, and I could imagine it would be, oh my god, we're starving! Oh, this is not good. Uh, luckily, I got my free food for the day. Give me my food allowance, JK. I got that juicy steak, boy. I always forget about hunger, dude. I would be a really bad survivalist. I'd just be like, I'm doing good. Day five of survival. I was going, well, what? My stomach's grumbling for some reason. Not sure what that's about. It does that sometimes as I drop dead or something. Uh, let's see what this first chest has got. Ah! Uh, could be worse. I'm, I'm not too salty with that. That's okay. A couple of machetes. We could use those. A couple of oars. I'll take the band-aids, though. For sure taking those. But back to the event. That'd even be cool if we potentially see a pop-up event where, like, maybe, like, Tom over here is, like, dressed up as Santa. Johnny's dressed up as, uh, I, I don't know, one of his elves or something or the other way around. I don't know. And it's like a pop-up event, kind of like the Smuggers Camp. But it is good to know that they've been addressing kind of this whole event structure and the fact that they do plan on having more events in, in the future, which is really encouraging. I don't know. I really I really like events, whether that be Halloween stuff or pop-up stuff like the uh, like the Smuggler's event. That's really cool. And that's where I want to ask you guys, more so towards the pop-up events. Like, what do you think could be an event going forward in the future? Because I'm trying to think of ideas, and I'm not, I'm not for once, I'm a little bit short on the ideas. And given the fact that you guys are like 27 more times more creative than me and pretty fan freaking fantastic I'd love to hear some of the ideas you got. I'd love to share that below. And uh, remember Reminder, that does enter you into the giveaway as well. You can use that as your comment. But uh, I'd love to hear some ideas you guys could have for events because, I don't know, I'm pretty kaputted and there's a lot of potential creativity. So let me know that. But it is exciting to hear. We also are probably going to have to help Tommy here. Damn, Tommy. Good job, bro. Good job pushing him back. But uh, it's, it's going to be cool that they've... Conf I'm not going to say confirmed yet. I think it's still a little bit away from being confirmed. But they've said that, hey, they, they want... Tommy and Johnny back because we want them back, which is very good. Okay, here's where all the tougher guys start coming in. Oi, noi, hoi, noi, hoi. I'm not trying to get cornered though. Hold on, Tommy. Allow me to acquire. Okay, I might just take out the gun for this because I ain't trying to die. All right, I'll use the rest of their ability on this thing to hopefully help us out a little bit before all goes to the pooper. I only got one toilet in my life, and that's the one in my room. So please. But don't poop on me, okay? Use the toilet like civilized people. Uh, I'll use a little bit of this. Tommy, you need a weapon, don't- Oh no, he still has his katana. Oh, look at that! Even my boy Johnny's coming to help! Johnny doesn't do anything, though, so thanks for the effort, Johnny. You're not- not doing much, though. Good job, though! They, I- I appreciate the thought. It's the thought that counts. Very good, very good. Crowd zombie, how you doing, my man? You're pretty dead, your head's off. Uh, this is one of those frost zombies. Got him, I can get a couple hits on. Okay. Uh, then we just got to push this guy away from the wall, push him 
kind of outwards a little bit same story with this guy but yeah I'm, I'm excited for future events i really think that's cool that they i i like the event structure i don't like i don't like always going to like just normal zones I, I really like doing events they do some good variety at least in my opinion that's just my opinion feel free to disagree with that oh my goodness we gotta deal with this don't we all right let's deal with this guy tommy i should give you some band-aids too you're probably taking some punishment right about now it's all right i got the torch and these guys are pretty close. Oh, no, Tommy! That's my katana, mate! All right, well, Tommy ran away with my katana. Uh, appreciate it, Tommy. Appreciate the fact that you are a real man. We're about to win, too, you pansy. Well, uh, Johnny, great job. Yeah, tell that to Tommy. He ran off with my stuff. I gotta go back to being Aaron Judge without my samurai ninja helping me out, man. That makes me salty. Let's continue to talk about this dev blog a little bit. Uh, let's, uh, let's wrap up here. Hopefully we get an engine part or something out of here. But, uh, number two, how does a shipwreck event work? How often can it appear? So this kind of makes sense. This kind of relates to what we were doing at the beginning of the episode. Especially because I've always been confused about the shipwreck event. So it's really good to see Kafir doing some clarification here. And they've said, right now it appears with a chance once in three to five days, depending on a player's level. We're analyzing how the event influences the whole game's balance and testing different metrics. For example, should it appear more often for more or less experienced players or the zombies you need to attack in the beginning strong enough, etc. So it makes sense. Yes, baby, give me another wrench. Not an engine part, but I will take the wrench. And I am not doing tier three of this event because tier three sucks has a ridiculous amount of zombies and it is not worth at least in my opinion zero out of ten not worth again i'll take some of these goodies though we can drop them off at the bunker worst case just go straight to the bunker you guys know we got a ton of storage over there and we got actually we got to stop by home i got some tickets and that means we can open some babies up what do you want did i not complete the quest oh well, there's a circle by your name. I assume you have a quest for me. But, uh, yeah, they're kind of, like, just trying to make sure that they balance the shipwreck event, right? And that makes sense because at the beginning, that thing, I'm not going to lie. All right, I loved it to death, and I'm sure everyone loved it. But it's it was a little bit powerful in that you could have literally been, like, a level... Uh, I think you were, like, guaranteed to get a pistol or something. So you could literally start out the game, go to a shipwreck event, and right off the bat have you know some pretty good stuff i think you got like a piece of swat armor which is which was nice but i'm like i don't i'm saying i understand where last down there's coming from where they want to like balance the game and all that jazz but it is good to hear that they've revealed it is like three to five days uh and it kind of depends on the level that you are so let's stop on by home really quickly let's get a couple of the goodies put a couple of these goodies away as we go through the bunker as well we'll be able to cop a couple of zombie brains and stuff like that I like stockpiling. I want to do some more stuff with those, uh, whatchamacallits, it? those zombie collars. They're pretty cool. But number three, will you ever introduce new weapons to the game that will do splash damage? And will you make the already existing shotgun do splash damage too? A, I love this question because it's giving shotgun rain some justice. Speaking of giving shotgun rain justice, shotgun rain is now available on a shirt. If you guys don't know, Star Slam swag and merch available at that link down in the description and or pinned comment. Make sure you click it because it's really cool. Only available for the rest of October because it's a really special design. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I think my voice got a little bit hoarse from that. All right, uh, I'm going to drop a couple of these goodies off super quickly, though, and then we'll continue the question. Can we just take a sec to appreciate this chest? I finally got up to 20 engine parts after all that grind. That's been going good. Those smugglers events, really, I've been getting a lot from there. I got a couple from airdrops, which has been nifty, but I freaking love. Just thank you, Kafir, for making these things more likely to get. They've really expanded uh, some of the potential ways to get the engine. And speaking of that, they've actually uh, talked about that a little bit here regarding the chopper, I think. I th yeah. Uh, number, se uh, number eight, why is it so hard to find parts for the chopper? And why don't we have oak forest near our home? And they say, as well as in real life, having a transport opens the door to multiple opportunities and gives you some advantages. Yes, it's not easy to get the chopper, but once you own it, you'll have it forever. Talking about the oak forest, this type of trees doesn't grow in warm locations where your bases are placed. Winter climate is more atypical for them. I don't know enough about oak trees, nor am I an oak treeologist, so I don't know if I can exactly dispute what they're saying. So if, if we have any resident oak treeologists in the comment section, please educate me about oak trees and all the glory that they bring to humanity. But in the meantime, I, I I'm not really going to comment on that. But so in regards to that, they're just kind of the same thing they've always been saying, where they want the chopper to kind of be this kind of big event that's a huge unlock for people. I've just been really happy that they have raised it and made it a little bit more likely for people to get the gas 
gas tank, which is actually something they address in uh, number four. Can you increase gas tank chance again? I know you've already done it, and this is the question, by the way. I know you've already done it. I feel like it's perfect where it is, but hear me out. A lot of people, myself included, we might... Ooh, nah, I'm not trying to spend that much energy to go out there, man. I know I got the coins, but listen, I don't like the... Eh, it's, the it's for the purposes of a video, though, and maybe we got an airdrop, so I'll do it. Normally, though, this airdrop is so out of the way, I don't think that I would go for this normally. But, hey, something to do on video, so I can't complain. Uh, continuing the question though, I know you've already done it and feel like it's a perfect where it is, but hear me out, a lot of people, myself included, have opened over 15 red coupon crates and we still don't have the gas tank. You're losing a lot of players because of this gas tank, and maybe me, myself, I'm quite tired of getting so excited to open the red crates saying, YES! FINALLY GONNA GET IT! Only be disappointed. Oh, Please! I'm begging you. And their answer is, we think about it, as you mentioned, we've already increased the gas tank drop chance a few times. This is a fact, they have d uh, have they done it a few times? I know they- I know the one time that they mentioned for sure was when they made it five times more likely during 1.6.2. I think they've mentioned it before, but I'm not- I'm not gonna say something that I don't know is true, so feel free to fact check me on that. I'm just gonna- oh my god, that lag on my phone. Don't do that to me, phone! Hell yeah, dude, that is a hole in one. I'm, I'm gonna win the World Series with all these holes in ones, man. The, 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 the Chicago Bulls will have no clue what's coming for them when I face them on the football field. <laughs> uh, but back to what I was saying, I'm gonna continue this question as soon as we can finesse our way towards opening this thing, because airdrops take 20 years to open anyway. Uh, they said we think about it, and we've mentioned how we've already increased the gas tank drop chance a few times. Probably the chopper is the most valuable item in the game. That is very true, I cannot deny that. I like what I find there, thank you. Airdrop of gods, whoever's airdropping these things upon us. Uh, Probably the chopper's most valuable item in the game right now, and that's the reason why it's so difficult to get. Maybe they'll increase the gas tank drops chances, or it will drop somewhere else. Uh, that not like drop the chance of they mean they'll add places where it would drop. Please, Kafir, do this. Okay, I have a gas tank, but I know I speak for everybody. I got so many comments from people talking about the gas tank, and I'm really like, I'm wishing you guys nothing but the best of luck, especially to like uh, the giveaway winners. Uh, a lot of times, I'm guessing you guys use those uh, gift cards that I give away for trying to get the gas tank, which I don't blame you because the gas tank it does unlock the chopper which unlocks this whole northern section which is really good but the northern section actually isn't as amazing as it used to be because before you had to go here to get steel and to get your military backpack but now like not gonna lie i've gotten more from the smugglers camp because a it's not 70 energy away which is ridiculous man like i i hate that it's so far away because it, it is an adventure if you go out here that's why i kind of use the player's base there as kind of a temporary base Although there's a risk with that in that maybe the base respawns, which is never, never good. Let's hope that that doesn't happen. That would be very bad. Very bad. But it would be cool to see the gas tank, the, like the drop chances uh, go up or to add it being dropped somewhere else. Because I seriously want to see all of you guys join in the chopper squadron. All right. Like I'm pretty set, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to stop rooting for you guys. All right. I want you guys to get that jazz and I really hope that that does go up and in the meantime I wish you guys the best of luck in opening those red coupon crates over here if you decide to spend money on the game that's your choice I'm not gonna tell you to do it I'm not gonna tell you to not do it I'm gonna tell you to make your own informed decision about that or to potentially get your hands on some free crates if you haven't seen my video i do show a method for actually getting some free engineer crates and that type of jazz a link for that is usually in the description as well kind of below like the initial description of the game uh it should be a link somewhere there with like the stars because i use stars to denote links but uh yeah for real best of luck with that regardless of how you're trying to get it i'm just wishing you guys nothing but the best when it comes down to it and before we venture down into the bunker Let's go ahead and put this down. Let's finish this question. Uh, it's not a mythic item, and we see that it takes time to... It takes time, but the players manage to find it. Anyways, it's not the center of the whole game, and we understand that not everyone has, and that's why we add events that are accessible to everyone, like shipwrecks, smugglers, and Halloween events. And that's something that I really liked, is that after they did add in the north and stuff, that was kind of like a big update to just kind of like give the chopper more of a purpose. But after they added that, like realistically... Cover your ears, boys. It's getting loud. But realistically, like, they have focused a lot of their time and a lot of their resources more on the side of stuff that everybody can access. Like, I mean, after they added in chopper events and uh, what was the other one that they added in that kind of a little bit did that thing too? Uh, what am I thinking of? I don't know. I'm having a brain fart. Oh, chopper events and uh, 
and the North, which I already mentioned. <laughs> I started smacking myself in the face to try and remember that one. But uh, yeah, they have kind of focused their resources more on doing the rest of this stuff. And I think that's like an okay compromise. Like I said, I'd still love for everyone to have a chopper and join us in the North, but it makes sense that they want people to progress towards it and all that type of jazz. But I'm happy that they've been focusing not on just like continuing doing chopper stuff. Like they're working on early game stuff too. With even me being a late player, dude, I don't care. I love seeing anything new. I love showing off anything new. And I just love basking in the glory of new stuff with you guys. Like I bask in the glory of home runs. Oh, that was more of a, that was more of a pop, not a pop out. That was a ground out to first base, man. That's some weak sauce. Uh, let's use the machete here for this upcoming segment. Because there's going to be a couple of fast butters we could take out. But, uh, yeah. So, we got that. Uh, what next one do we have to talk about? Oh, number seven. Number seven is a question. I love this. Why don't you set up a common marketplace to buy and sell items found? Their answer. Have we ever said that we don't plan to add such a feature? And followed by the signature Kafir smiley face. Meaning, they're probably thinking about it. And it's going to happen, hopefully. <laughs> see, see you later with your head. Hey, brains! Dude, the machete has a clean cut on the brains. It's definitely the reason. Definitely probably isn't the reason. We just got lucky. But still, I'm going to say it's the reason. But that is amazing. I've been talking about something like that forever because you guys know that I got pretty lucky. I actually have a second chopper gas tank and a couple of chopper forks lying around. I would absolutely love to sell those things. Like, I don't want to keep hoarding them, man. I want to sell them. I could even sell them for cheap for all I care. So a couple of you guys actually get them for a solid price or something like that. And here pretty much they're saying that, yo... We hear what you guys are talking about, and, you know, a marketplace is something that we really are thinking about. And hallelujah, man, that is something I've talked about, something I've brainstormed about for a while, and something that I would love to see in the game, and I'm sure a lot of you guys would love as well. Because it really just adds this point where, like, if some players get extra lucky, and we get a second gas tank now, it's like, okay, you should be really hype. That's really rare, but it literally does not matter. But now, if they do add in a trading system... You get something as rare as a gas tank, well guess what, you can sell it on the market for a really good price. So, there's no, like, duplicates become rewarded. Like, no longer are duplicates just like, ah, no point in that. You could still sell this stuff to other players, you know? And that's actually exciting to see. So let me know what you guys think, how they might implement that. Like, maybe it'll be like a global market where it's just like a button you press. But what I think they'll do, like I said, I'd love to hear your guys' ideas, your guys' takes, hot takes on the process here. But what I think they'll end up doing is uh, kind of having like a settlement because they've kind of, I think they've done some concept art or they've mentioned that they want to do settlements slash towns in the future. And I think that that'd be perfect. So instead of having to go to the dealer, I, I hate the dealer, man. If you guys don't know, that dude is just bleh. But instead of having to do that, you could go to a city, set up a couple trades, trade with some people, maybe trade with other players once multiplayer comes in. Bunch of cool stuff like that. Like, realistically, I don't know why I thought I could open up a red box. It was supposed to be a yellow one. But realistically, I think that'd be awesome. I think they'd implement it as a settlement. Let me know what you guys think in regards to that. But, uh, what is it? Uh, we talked about number eight. Number nine, will there be a character statistic? For example, how many zombies you killed, how many hours played, how many times you died. It's not the first time you get the question, so we've already thought about it. Yes, we want to implement such a feature, and we'll try to do it as soon as we have time for it. I don't care a whole ton about stats and that type of stuff. I've never been, like, a stat nut for lack of a better word, so, like, that's cool to me, but I'm not really, like, I'm not gonna get too hyped about stats, but hey, if you guys are hyped about stats, please, continue being hype, man, whatever gets you guys hype, hell yeah. Number 10, something that I think almost everyone will love, just kidding, I think everyone's gonna love number 10, will there be rewards for players who participate in the beta? Yes, 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 now on one hand, this does mean, I mean, they didn't say what? Maybe we wake up one day, all of a sudden, we got two extra water bottles in our pocket. Now, if that happens, I think I would cry and I would be pretty ang angry about that. But that'd be cool if they do add in some kind of like unique weapons to the beta players. Yellow crate, give me some good luck. Okay, okay, I'll take that. And some shotgun rain, baby. This is a good day. This is a very, very good day. I just love that I'm able to live on the legend of Shotgun Rain. Contrary to popular belief, I, I did not think of Shotgun Rain. It was from one of my favorite YouTubers I watched growing up who kind of phased out of YouTube. He doesn't do YouTube anymore. Seamus, SSOH PKC, and without him yelling Shotgun Rain across the interwaves of the YouTubes, I had to take up that mantle. And that's what I do now. All right, so you got to understand, that's not... that's. As much as I just love to pay homage to it, all right, it's amazing. I feel like I've adopted the idea, but Seamus, my dude, if you're watching this, it's all you, man. I love Shotgun Rain. Everyone should love Shotgun Rain. It's an amazing thing. 
brings us together and brings zombies apart with lead. <laughs> It's magical, truly. All right, let's cop a couple of these extra little things. I guess I could try to get uh, some of this gas tank, too. That'll be good for the chopper. And why don't we try to knock out a couple of zombies, head down to the bunker. We got a little bit of time anyways. But uh, what, what was I? Oh, yeah, number 10. So I'd love to hear what you guys think would maybe happen with this. This is like, there's a lot of potential things that they could do with this. Like I said, it could be a total troll. And they just drop us two water bottles. And it's like, hello, my name is Kafir. I will make sure you do not go thirsty. And I'll just be like, thanks, Kafir, so I can get three of those every day anyways. Uh, or maybe it'll be something cool. Like, honestly, what I think it'll be, feel free to disagree. Feel free to give me your own ideas. But from my thought process, I don't think they'd want to give us anything that would actually help us progress. I think what it's going to be, it's going to be a skin. Maybe, like, they'll add skins that we can put on top of this stuff. Because, like, for example, it seems that they want to do skins in the future. Like, you have the holiday costume, banishers evil spirits, and not only them. Too bad it's not much of a costume. Like, it looked like it could have been a costume with the helmet. Uh, not really. It's just, it's just a pack of SWAT armor or whatever, so I don't know about that. Oh, check this out, by the way. Actually, engineer crates are on sale. Bless up for that, man. Bless up for that. But why don't we go... Let's use the baseball bat for this upcoming horde of zombies. Just because using the machete is, like, wasting quite a good amount of potential damage. But I think it's gonna end up being like a chopper skin, maybe a clothing skin, something like that. But hey, if you guys disagree, if you guys got any ideas, please shower that knowledge upon me, all right? You know I'm always trying to uh, gain more knowledge in this world of ours, in this last day world of ours. And I gotta try to, oh, don't, I don't want them surrounding me. That's when things get bad with this group of zombies. I do like how, oh, check that out. Perfectly timed. No, not so perfectly timed. Boop. Oh, no, okay. Boop. Look at that. Hit. One hitter quitter. Get out of there. Get out of there. Hiya! 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 There's so many zombies, dude. Using a baseball bat is a struggle. But I'm not trying to use anything good on you scrubs. I'm sorry. What do we get? We got one thing. One green ticket. That's that's the real goal of all the stuff that we do. But I think it'll end up being like a, a skin for like a chopper or something like that. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be anything like a weapon. Because weapons degrade and stuff. I think they want maybe like a decor decoration we put on our house. Something like that. Like, there's a ton of possibilities, but that's just kind of what I think is the most possible? Most probable? Who the hell knows? Alright, let's go back to the katana. We got a little tougher of a guy going up, but uh, I think we covered everything. Unless I missed, like, number... I, I think I started talking about number three and I didn't finish it, so number three. Will you ever introduce new weapons to the game that will do splash damage and will make you already existing shotgun do splash damage, too? That's when I got hyped about shotgun rain. Uh, and they said, yes, there will be a new weapon that will bring splash damage, but it definitely won't be a shotgun. So shotgun will probably not be getting splash damage. Unfortunately, I would have loved shotgun rain to become even rainier and even shotgunnier. But it does mean that there's a weapon come with splash damage. My thoughts on this, feel free to give your own. But my thoughts on this is we kind of try to conglomerate all these theories, come up with cool ideas here on the video, right? What I'm thinking this is, you guys remember that flamethrower they've been showing, right? They showed like a sketch for a flamethrower, something that they're working on. I mean, flames that like, if when I think splash damage, flames makes a huge amount of sense. So I could definitely see it, you know, being some flames. But at the same time, it could also be something like, I think they've said they don't want to do grenades in the future, but... What I think could end up happening, maybe an RPG, RPG or grenade launcher. Those are the two next best ideas that come to mind. So, I don't know. An RPG would be really awesome to see, though, because, I don't know. Explosives, they make everyone happy. They make me happy. I hope they make you happy unless the explosives are aimed at you, in which case, please do not become happy unless you're into that type of thing in some kind of weird and demented way. I don't know, <laughs> but other than that, I think we run about went through the entire queue and I had some fun along the way. I hope you boys and girls had some fun as well. And why don't we top it off by slashing this dude up a little bit. I'll probably go ahead and continue on with the bunker a little bit. Didn't want to spend too much time in here as we have done the bunker. Uh, quite a, it was Halo zombie brains. Quite a good amount of times, uh, but I'm going to do this. Probably try to get some tickets from it. We'll try to open up the crates at least on camera. Hopefully get some more zombie parts, which are always good for getting some zombie collars. And I do want to get that uh, new zombie, not zo the new chopper paint. That's a big goal on my to-do list and all that jazz. But other than that, that is going to go ahead and wrap with me for now. Cannot wait to hear what you guys theorize, what you guys got to say in the comments. Best of luck in the giveaway. Best of luck in your hands on the chopper and joining the chopper squadron. In the meantime, all hail shotgun rain. Keep those pantalones zipped up and on tight. And make sure you leave them on as, as beautiful as people are without pantalones.
Pantalones are an important part of a healthy and balanced breakfast, all right? Nothing gets you going like some pants in the morning. That's gonna wrap it with me for now. I wish you guys nothing but the most fan fantastic day in the world that only gets more fan fantastic from here on out. That's gonna wrap it up for me. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya. Actually, wait, 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 we gotta do this. We gotta do this the professional way. What, what am I thinking? Bye, see ya. See, do you see that? Do you see how much more professional that is? This is professional YouTube channel. As professional as it gets, PewDiePie step aside. Jacksepticeye step aside. Uh, insert YouTuber name step aside. Did you see what I just did? That is as professional as it gets. I got my dude in game to wave goodbye to the people in the YouTube world. That's how much I care. That's how much I love you guys, man. Have an awesome one. Just keep it real. You guys are amazing.